Hi, I am Joe, an artificially generated newscaster. And here's some news. Apple said the newest update to the iPhone 12 is going to make it emit less radiation. The change was mainly imposed by France, whose radiation watchdog threatened to ban iPhone 12 sales over its emissions. A test performed a while ago showed that Apple's phone is the most radioactive on the market, surpassing the required minimum by almost one quarter. However, contrary to what some might claim, there is exactly zero chance of it causing cancer or any other malfunction of human flesh. The radiation phones emit is not the same as the one you usually think of. It is still hazardous, but mainly because of the heat, meaning that the phone might overheat the hands of the humans who use them too much. As a response to the threat of the ban, Apple said that a new update will reduce the emissions to just below the required minimum. So, using iPhone 12 for extended periods of time will only be harmful to the eyes and the brains, but not for the hands. In other news, users and employees of LastPass Password Manager have been targeted by a massive phishing campaign. The company said the emails were widespread, pervasive, and convincing. This means that not only was the campaign well-coordinated, but it probably used a good deal of leaked information about the victims. As you may remember, LastPass has been hacked pretty badly, and the stolen information may have already been used to breach some accounts and steal massive amounts of crypto. Talking about poor cybersecurity, a report by BitSight claims their researchers found nearly 100,000 industrial control systems that are vulnerable to a cyberattack. Those systems range from power and water supply grids to traffic lights, and their disruption can have very serious consequences. BitSight says most of the vulnerable systems are located in the US, Canada, and Europe. According to the report, education establishments, energy grids, and governmental institutions are the most vulnerable. On the bright side, the report found that the number of exposed systems is steadily decreasing. Nevertheless, the numbers are frighteningly high. And let's finish off the day with two lighter topics. The UK royal family was apparently attacked by an infamous cyber gang Kilnet. The family's website has been down for an hour and a half. The attack did not cause any long-term damage, as DDoS attacks usually do, but it still resulted in some bragging rights for Kilnet and mild inconvenience for those three people who wanted to look at the photos of the British king for some reason. Another person to experience mild inconvenience was Tom Hanks, who said that his likeness has been used by an advertisement company without his consent. A deepfake of the famous human actor was used to advertise some dental services. This is a scenario we are probably going to see repeating more and more often. By the way, you may have noticed that I sneaked a whole recap into today's news. And I am wondering if I should do that every day. So, if you would like for that to continue, please tell me in the comments. And if you want just the usual one topic per day, please comment too. Thanks, and see you in the next one.